before entering this, I never really would have thought about writing something in this way. However, this process made me realise that actually this was something that I could do alongside my research as well. And not only that, but it was actually quite enjoyable writing for a more general audience rather than just sort of specific scientific jargon for a journal. The most important thing I think again was the confidence to pursue science writing as a career. I always enjoyed science writing but I thought it was more of a hobby before I entered the competition. And after that I was like, okay, maybe maybe I am actually alright at this. Maybe this could be the kind of next step for me. I do some work for the for the BBC and learning how to tell that story, how to take um, what is the story about molecular virology and turn it into a narrative has proved really useful for lots of other storytelling and presentations over the rest of my career as a broadcaster and as a scientist. So it, it, forcing, forcing me to think about narrative and how to engage people was um, a really useful discipline. The award had a huge impact psychologically. I was at a really low ebb in terms of my self-esteem. I was quite a mature student, like a lot of doctors. And uh, this was the first success for many years. My supervisor came with me to the awards, uh, Greg Towers. He was blown away when I won. And the award just gave me a little status boost in the lab. And I, I think I really needed that. I, I wonder if I would have completed the PhD if I hadn't won the award. The award was really the first recognition of this work having a uh, real impact and importance and it gave me the opportunity to externalise it beyond academic circles, um, which was really important in terms of making connections with potential supporters, donors, industry, programme partners. Um, and reflecting back, given it was 10 years ago, so much of what I wrote back then remains true today, uh, which is always um, helpful to be able to look back and be clear that you're still following the vision that was initially set out. First of all, because it's actually really fun, it's really interesting to look at your work from a different angle and to think about why other people might be interested in it the more you think about that i've found the more i got interested in it so that was really nice um, it was really good to challenge my brain in a different way to normal instead of looking at numbers i was looking at words and i think that's something that we should all try to incorporate as scientists because there is more to being a researcher than doing the experiments I think if you want to learn to communicate your science more effectively, um, push yourself outside your comfort zone and really create networks uh, within the media and other um, public facing bodies, then this competition is for you and it can really help lift your science out of the lab um, and drive societal change.